Our News 3 meteorologists continue their journey through local schools to not only teach students about the weather, but to also learn more about what those students are learning in class. Meteorologists John Ross and JC Breanne take us inside this week's Weather Academy at Galatia Grade School. Even though they're young, these students have a little bit of weather in their daily lessons, all thanks to a little technology. And a low of 26 degrees. We actually start off with the weather every day. Um, we ask our, um, our echo what the weather's like today. Alexa, what's the weather like today? Yes, the teachers at Galatia Grade School have employed technology, but the students get to interact with it. I actually let the <laughs> student of the week do that, so that's something that the kids get to do and they think it's fun to be able to go up to the echo and say, yeah. what's the weather like today? It's meant to get the students thinking and learning. And usually she'll tell us if it's gonna be sunny or rainy and they seem to enjoy that. But these teachers don't just use tech to encourage learning, they incentivize it. This is actually our Bearcat store. So every Friday, um, the kids earn Bearcat books with good behavior and they come in here every Friday and they're able to um, choose their little prizes. If they get like 100 on a test, they get five. Um, if they just come to school every day, they get one to kind of encourage that, getting up, coming to school. Bigger staff and Hart have noticed improvement when Bearcat Bucks are introduced. They try more, their spelling and math, and they do a better job, I feel like, so they can earn that Bearcat Buck. And I know in my class, if they are doing like handwriting or kind of an independent work and they start getting a little noisy, if I pass out a few Bearcat butts to the quiet ones, they ship shape right away. <laughs> so they want those Bearcat bucks. Each Friday, they get their payout and take a trip to the Bearcat store. But yeah, I have some that are really real savers and some that spend it all every time. I have a lot of my first graders that try to save up for the big prizes, like the $20 and the $50 items which would be like the posters and the bigger games. So some of them that is helping them learn the value of money by not spending it every week, but they, they're able to save up to get the big prizes. With this week's Weather Academy, John Ross, News 3. You can follow the Weather Academy's adventures at WSILTV.com slash Weather Academy. Next week, they will take us to Hardin County Elementary School.